Hello and welcome to the Year of Wonder Challenge. My TBR for January will include The Religion by Tim Willocks. At 771 pages, this will start the 2020 Booktubers Reading Chunksters for Charity Challenge. On completion, I will donate £10 to Book Aid International. If you've not seen my announcement video, you can see it in the info cards above. And it is also at the head of my home page, where it will remain throughout 2020. Booktubers, whether viewers, subscribers, commenters or content creators, are invited to participate in this challenge. All the ways to participate are included in my announcement video. St statistically speaking, I was expecting and hoping for a 2% response to my initial video, but I'm happy to report that 8% of viewers have indicated that they are going to participate in the challenge, while others have yet to declare. Any viewer can come on board at any time in 2020 throughout the challenge. The Religion by Tim Willocks is set in Malta in 1565. The greatest war the world has ever seen is unleashed on the doomed island as the Turks do battle with the Knights. The Knights call themselves the Religion. The Turks call them the Hounds of Hell. Back in Sicily, the beautiful rich Carla pines for her bastard son lost in the bloody infernos across the water. Enter Matthias Tannhauser, warrior, hero and double agent. Under Carla's command, he embarks on a death-defying mission to save her son. But can he evade the Inquisition and escape to run the Turkish blockade to victory in time? I'm going to read the book to find out. Now I want to share another exciting challenge that I have added for 2020. K Kelly from Books I'm Not Reading recommended Year of Wonder, classical music for every day by Clemency Burton Hill. See Kelly's video in which she speaks about this book in the show notes below. Year of Wonder is a unique celebration of classical music by an author who wants to share its diverse wonders with others and to encourage a love for classical music in all readers, whether complete novices or lifetime enthusiasts. Clemency chooses one piece of music for each day of the year with a short explanation about the composer to put it into context and brings the music alive in a modern and playful way while also extolling the positive mindfulness element of giving yourself some time every day to listen to something uplifting or beautiful. Thoughtfully curated and expertly researched, this is a book of classical music to read and listen to for every day of the year. All the musical pieces are available in YouTube. I love the idea contained in this book of listening to a short piece of classical music every day and of reading Burton Hill's short introduction to each piece of music, I, I commented to Kelly that I was not sure I would keep up the routine of reading and listening every day, but we both agreed that it would be worthwhile even if it was only done in a desultory way. However, I thought of a way to motivate myself to be consistent and to read and listen every day. To do this, I have pledged myself to donate another £2 every month to Book Aid International for every month that I complete the month challenge of reading the introductory piece and listening to the set piece of music. I've allocated a set time each day to complete this challenge. You can follow my progress of both challenges on the dedicated Twitter account, which you will find in the show notes below. In January, I also plan to read True Grit by Charles Portis, as recommended by Joey of Game of Authors. I'm also going to start reading through the Inspector Morse novels. This month, I'm going to read the third book 
in this series, The Silent World of Nicholas Quinn by Colin Dexter. And now here is a quick recap and I'll be back soon with another booktube video. Thank you.